we're going to go through the process of how to purchase your vehicle. So the first screen that you're going to see as soon as you click your icon on your desktop for Super's Wing version 7.0, uh, it'll load, the game will load, and it'll bring you to the vehicle screen. And if you just follow the cursor, you'll see up across the top you've got Mod, Vehicle, Track, and then this is your settings folder, or your settings uh, video, your your player name, player information. Basically, goes to your PLR file. Um, across the top, you also have how many credits you have. Um, your join will be here to join the server, and this is how you exit out. So this is all the way to the right. So back to how to purchase your car. So right now you see the Super's house car going around on the spinner and uh, we're going to go ahead and show you how to purchase that car so under super's house cars you would select the car that you want you see that it's it's here um, and because there's not a standards and rope around it means it's already been purchased so um, we'll go to a different car we'll take the number 94 red max rookie car Crimson Hay Baler has not been purchased. And you can see stock, the way it comes to you is with the standard three-element wing, or the three-element wing is standard. The rear tail section is removed on this extreme chassis. The side fuel cell is attached, and the large radiator is attached. But first of all, let's, um, let's purchase this car. So let's say we want this car. It's set here, ready to buy. So as you look across team vehicle, and we're in the spinner screen, that's the car that's showing right here, and it says vehicle not owned. So how do we buy it? Well, look at the green dollar sign. Highlight over that, click the dollar sign, bam, you just bought the Crimson Hay Baler. So now you want to modify the car after you take a look at who the chassis manufacturer is, the engine, the horsepower, torque, all that stuff, championships, wins, podiums, all that happy stuff. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click the first wrench. Once you click that, you have drop downs. As you open them up, you see the rear wing, rear wing is detached. Well, let's say we want to put the rear wing on it. Oh, that looks pretty cool, huh? Yeah, let's take a look at that. You want to see a bigger view? Click the expansion sign here, and there you go. You're full screen, man. So that's how the, the uh, thing will look. Gives you a better bird's eye view of the Crimson Hay Baler. Move it all around, up, down, sideways, click it to spin it, click it again to stop it. So let's go back to the selection process. Just highlight up here. To the right, you'll see the, the windows. Click them, and you're back, back to uh, square one, so to speak. So that rear wing is not purchased yet. We want that rear wing attached. Uh, that looks really cool. So highlight it. You can see the red dollar sign says it's not purchased. Go over here, click the green dollar sign, bam, done. Now, if you ever want to sell that, you go back and you click the minus button here or click the minus button up here. So that's how you would sell those upgrades. And then you do the same thing with the side fuel cell. You highlight it first. It shows that it's there. Yep, that's cool. Okay, bam, bam, bam. Yep, that's nice. Okay, so radiator shroud, whichever ones you want to make have on. Uh, three element wings attached. You got the two element wing standard, and then you got the two element wing with offset panels. So you can see there, one panel's higher than the other. Uh, top wing mounts, traditional, are attached right now. That's your struts. And then if you want to use a cantilever style, which a lot of guys have gone to now in super modified racing, you can put those on. And you can see they're kind of hard to see in the smaller window view, but there you go. So we want the car to stay as it is. Uh, we like that, man. It looks pretty cool. But let's say we decide we go to a track where we want the rear wing detached. Well, you have to make sure that you click that. And then at the arrow button, right now you're going to show it in the window. It's not attached, okay? But it's still, you look at installed or owned. Right now, the rear wing attached is, is installed. But we want to detach it. We, we're going to a big high-speed tra track where we don't want the uh, uh, don't want it to look that way. We want to take away some drag. So highlight it, and then click the arrow in the wrench. See how it's blue? Watch this. 
fan. Now what we see is that it's installed. So that's how you will enter your tracks. So that's your mod uh, or your vehicle purchase and your upgrades for the new Super GUI. So the next one we'll go through and we'll show you how to enter the server. Thanks for listening and watching. I hope this helped you guys. And uh, let's get ready to go Supers racing. Go to supers.net for the full schedule.